Hey, what's up guys? I'm DJ Alex Brown and welcome to today's gig log. I know it's been a while since I made a gig log for my channel, so I'm excited to be making this one and I saved this for one of the biggest weddings that I have this year, mostly in terms of equipment. It is a good sized wedding, but the main highlight of today that I wanna point out is all of the equipment that they have here today. Uh, behind me, you can see my hedge wall for the photo booth, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Today's wedding is of Sarah and Chris here at the Hershoff Marine Museum in Bristol, Rhode Island. This is under a tent right on the water. They're having their ceremony over by one of the docks and they're having their cocktail hour up at the museum in what they call the Hall of Boats. And that Hall of Boats is what has all of the historic boats inside. And they wheel some of the boats out, uh, out in front of the garage door to uh, make some room for the cocktail hour. So now we'll start off obviously with ceremony today. I'm doing my typical three microphone setup. So one handheld on a stand for readings and then two lavalier mics, just like the one I have on me right here. Um, one on the groom and one on the officiant so that I can pick up as much audio as possible. The ceremony is overlooking the water and it's a beautiful view of boats and water in the background. In Rhode Island, we truly have some really beautiful spots uh, to have a wedding on the water um, and a lot of coastline proportionate to the size of the state. So now moving on to cocktail hour, like I mentioned, the cocktail hour is up at the Hall of Boats. Um, I just tucked a single speaker in the corner for this to keep it as low profile as possible. I usually just run a playlist for cocktail hour to keep things simple. And um, in the case of today, I need to use some of the cocktail hour time to finish the finishing touches on the reception setup because there is so much going on down here at the reception. I did bring two people with me to help set up tonight. Tyler of TC Photo and Film, who is a photographer and videographer. He's helping me out with the gig log tonight as well, but he's also running photo booth for me. And I also brought my friend Dom, who has a production company. He'll be running lights and also helping generally with setting up and breaking things down. The amount of equipment that I have tonight, it's really important for me to have a team of people to make everything happen. And I spent about four and a half hours setting everything up. I got here around 12 o'clock today to begin unloading. And there was a lot of shuffling between catering, florist, uh, drapery. They did a lot of drapery as you might be able to see off to my side in the tent tonight. Um, I'm not gonna mention how much it costs, but it was expensive. The planner uh, that I'm working with tonight is TMW Productions. I do a lot of work with them. They recommend a lot of couples to me. I'm not sure if they recommended this one specifically. I might've actually recommended them to the couple. They do really great planning work. They do day of coordination and um, full service planning. And we refer things back and forth. So it's, uh, you know, it's a good business relationship. Now let's talk about some of the things that we have under the reception tent here. So first, obviously behind me, we have my photo booth. I'm using my iPad photo booth tonight, uh, which is the ATA Helio. Uh, I have separate auxiliary lights to make sure I have enough exposure to get the best photos out of the iPad camera. And the photos that come out of this are pretty good. They're obviously not DSLR quality, but um, in the case of this photo booth tonight, they're really looking for something fun. Um, but it does have prints. Um, I'm using wireless printing tonight. I have my prop table over there. They did provide their own scrapbook, but I could have provided a scrapbook as well tonight. And of course, they did want to do the hedge wall. Um, they provided their own neon sign for this, but I did bring the hedge wall as part of the photo booth. This is something I rent with my letters. You can rent it standalone or you can add it to your photo booth package. Um, speaking of letters, they also have letters on their package tonight. So off to my right in one of the corners of the tent, they have the Woyax, spelt out in my three foot tall marquee letters with the one foot the toppers on top of those. Um, just another thing that was included on their package that they really wanted. They got just about everything I offered tonight. So um, I'll also be doing full room uplighting in the tent tonight as well as my glow tower lights, which I will show you in a minute. There's gonna be a lot of great uh, photos and videos of those tonight as well. And I have my full big uh, sound system with two 18 inch subwoofers and my Yorkville PS12P tops. Um, on top of that, they also asked if I could do CO2 jets. And I said, well, sure, I can make that work. So I have CO2 jets mounted to the top of my truss towers and those are controlled as part of the light show. And because we're in a tent which is outside and does not have smoke detectors tonight, I will actually be using um, my ADJ Encore Haze. I'll, I'll, I'll put exactly what it is, <laughs> but uh, I will be trying that out tonight and I do hope to do a review on that soon. Also to run lighting tonight, I'm using my ADJ WMX1. Um, I've used this last weekend. I had some bugs. I'm still working some things out. I think I have it all working correctly. So. Um, I did bring a couple backup options in case I need to swap it out, but it, it should be working well tonight. 
and we should have a really, really awesome light show with some of my new lights. Um, so it should be a really cool night. So stick around. Uh, we're going to walk through the ceremony, the cocktail hour, and most importantly, the reception. And we'll talk a little bit more about that um, in just a minute. All right, guys, so we finished up ceremony. Cocktail hour is just wrapping up. Guests are heading down to the reception now. Uh, everything for the reception is all finished off um, with setup and everything, so we're good to go there. And we're about to do introductions. Since I have Tyler with me, hopefully I'll actually get a video of introductions today. Um, and they will actually be having a cannon firing, which is kind of off my shoulder here, um, that will be taking place around the time of introduction. So either shortly before or shortly after, and that should uh, be an interesting event. Pretty much the next thing we'll be seeing is dinner and the reception and dancing. Obviously, I'm gonna focus more on the reception and dancing, and like I mentioned, they do kind of have two portions of the reception. Luckily, the photographer is here till the end tonight, so I'm hoping to get some good photos from them as well. And before I get started with introducing the wedding party, I need to make sure that everybody in this room, or in this case, this tent, is ready to cheer them on with the absolute maximum energy that we can provide tonight. So on the count of three, I'm gonna ask that everybody make as much noise as they possibly can. We want the people all the way on the other side of the Narragansett Bay over there to be able to hear you. Ready, one, two, three. All right, and with that, we're gonna get started off with the wedding party introductions. Let's hear it for Hannah McBain and Evan Ambrose. And your maid of honor, Casey Carton, escorted by the best man, Ryan Kelly. All right, at this time, everyone, we need that maximum energy as I introduce to you the new Mr. and Mrs. Wojak. And at this time, they are gonna take the dance floor for their first dance as a married couple. Here's a little bit of what the room looked like with all the uplighting. Dinner ran very long as usual. I've worked with this caterer before and they always run over for dinner. That's the letters. If you have a keen eye, you might've noticed that I fixed the bulb that was out in the clip that I showed earlier. Obviously, this here is obviously the father-daughter dance. Um, towards the end of the father-daughter dance, they did ask me to invite everyone up to the dance floor, so that'll be the next clip that you're seeing here to kind of open the dance floor after the father-daughter dance. And the next part here will be dancing, but stick around for the second half of dancing, which I will put towards the second half, which is when the CO2 jets and stuff kicked in. <laughs> Sorry, I know the DJs absolutely hate it when I record my outro when I'm at home uh, after the wedding, but I don't like sticking around at the venue, having the venue staff have to stay later because you know I wanna record a gig log outro. And I have a couple things that I noticed after the fact. One of the big things was I had no idea until I kind of you know conversed with the photographer a little bit that she was actually from Tennessee. Um, so she actually came up here for this wedding. She met the couple in the Dominican Republic. I don't need to go into that whole story. You guys don't really need the details, but she was an absolute pleasure to work with her and her husband. Also on that note, I did mention at the start of the video how they spent a good chunk of money on uh, some custom drapery and lighting um, and chandeliers in the tent. And uh, Ashley from TMW Productions came over to me and asked if I could help fix the chandeliers because uh, the chandeliers kept going out. 
Uh, what it turned out was that the company that set these up provided too short of an extension cord and they ran it right through the uh, catering company's area where they were stepping on it constantly and it just kept coming unplugged. So I added a little extra extension. You know, that's really not part of my job, but you know, if someone asks me to do that, it takes five minutes. Um, I'm pretty good with that kind of electrical type stuff, so I don't mind doing it. Now we led into dancing behind schedule. We should have had about three hours of dancing, maybe two hours and 45 minutes. We ended up with about two, maybe two hours and 15 minutes because the dinner ran very, very behind schedule. Although with this company, I should have said plan double time for dinner. Now I've done plenty of weddings where dinner runs behind. You know, we flex the schedule a little bit to move things up and move things around so we can try and stay as on schedule as possible. And ultimately, you know, that did cut into times a little bit. Some guests had left by the time we started dancing, um, which was a little bit unfortunate, but um, you know, we work with what we have. But the couple did want to do the first half of dancing as typical wedding dancing. They wanted a line dance because there was a couple guests that wanted one. And then they wanted to give a quick thank you to the guests. And then after that was the club portion of dancing. And they specified some songs, some remixes and stuff that they wanted. And I kind of mixed in you know, what I felt fit well with that. The lighting for that looked just absolutely awesome. I got compliments from vendors, from guests, from the photographers, and ultimately, you know, the bride just had an awesome wedding day. She had exactly what she wanted. Before she even contacted me, she said, I know I wanna have a club portion of dancing with, you know, fog or CO2 or something. So people were standing there looking at the CO2 jets that were mounted up on the truss towers and just waiting uh, for them to go off because they wanted to get blasted with the CO2. And you can see that in some of these videos. Now I mentioned how uh, great it was working with the photographer and uh, how easy both of them were to work with. Hannah, uh, her husband at one point said, hey, it would be really cool if you put the CO2 jets off and you put your hands up. So he took an awesome photo. And that's one of the things that as a vendor, I just really appreciate when you know, a photographer wants to help get good photos of the DJ because obviously I'm not a photographer. I bring my camera to do some video, um, but you know, it's not my focus. My focus is always gonna be the DJing. In addition, both the photographers gave me a huge compliment. They told me um, that I was one of, if not the best DJs that they've seen. And you know, they mentioned how they've done over 200 weddings and they really enjoyed uh, my mixing and my light setup and everything like that. And on that note, I just want to mention that I do have a background in club DJing, uh, which is where I get a lot of my mixing skills from. And I also have a background in productions. Um, and that's where I get some of my lighting design skills from and how we ended up with the light show that I bring. Um, and I was very happy to use the ADJ WMX1, which I'm super excited to make a review about. Um, Dom has never touched that controller before tonight and he had some really great feedback about using it. He was able to pick it up very quickly and really turn the light show into a performance um, and mix it up. And I think you can probably see that in the videos from the night. Um, thank you guys so much for watching through all the way to the end. If you did, if you enjoyed it um, and you're considering hiring me as your wedding DJ, definitely reach out now. I do have this year a total of about 36 or 37 weddings um, and I'm about half full for 2024 already. Considering having me reach out as soon as possible. If you're DJ watching this video and you've enjoyed it, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Uh, you know where the buttons are below. Leave a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it and leave me a comment. Tell me what you thought of the CO2 jets and the light setup. Um, would really appreciate your feedback on that and the video in general. And I do have a bunch of other gig logs on my channel that in a moment YouTube will recommend to you. So stick around for that. Once again, thank you everybody for watching this video. That's gonna be it for now. Until next time, peace.